I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Oh, they like everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sit. My man roller, he bring a zip. That's right. Any Moscato and do say whatever you want to get. No plans for the top on the slide. Hey. Hey. Feast the beast, they told you about the wild suckers lie. Can't nobody do it like me. I'm seasoned like checker fries. What's the vibe? Huh? You know what it is when we come inside. This weather feeling good, looking nice like the summertime. Right. This get together, we call it the party of the year. You end up missing this, you gon' be sorry you ain't here. Light skin, long hair, better than Cardi from the red. Woo. Got me some good game. Yeah, I talk it up in here. This the one they say they like it. Play it back. It got a mic, but I'm excited. Never tired. Just keep it going. We'll I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Friday night, everybody come to get lit. Red cups, what you sip? My man rolling. Yeah, what's up? We back with another one. Unprivileged drinkers taste testers for the hood. But suburban safe. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The gang is here. We are back. We're excited. We've been drinking a lot today. Fishing so, out. um. You know, we about to get have some fucking fun as usual. So, you know, tap in, tune in, have fun with this shit, and um, you know, we're gonna make it do what it do. Oh, for sure. Yeah, you know I mean, so we ain't gonna make it do what it do, baby. Okay, I don't know what that was, but reject Austin Dude, Powers. Uh, Austin Powerovich. <laughs> Are you gonna use your powers tonight? What the hell? I don't think you. I don't know what's going mind. on here. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> but um, yeah. Again, we're back with another one. I'm privileged drinking taste testers for the hood. Um, like we told you before, we won't have fun like we always do. And then um, that's just kids in the background. It is. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, that's, that's, but that's the realness of it. Like, yeah. Real life. Authentic. Every moment. Authentic. Yeah. It's just, just that's what it is. Authentic. So what we want to do um, before we do anything. Let's take a shot, right? A shot of clock yes, time. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. If you out there tuning in, you tapped in. It's your first time with the unprivileged drinkers. Get you a shot. It doesn't matter what it is. You know what I mean? We yeah. don't we don't discriminate. You know what I mean? We drink whatever is in front of us for the most Grand part. Repeats for us drinkers and uh. Yeah, the guy here. I'm gonna have some uh, some uh sweet tea, tw- uh sweet tea whiskey, twisted tea. Um, that's oh, what I'm doing today. Oh, sweet. You know, make sure you check out that drink review. Absolutely. Coming real soon. Really, really. If it's not already out. Shit, be <laughs> out. I mean, you never know. Uncle be on angles for real, for real. You know what I mean? Whose uncle I, is he? <laughs> Whose uncle is he? Josiah's. Oh, uh. The fuck? He fucked you up there. <laughs> Do they know who Josiah is? <laughs> Upper you? cuts and body slams. This shit, I don't be wanting to know sometimes. That motherfucker's an asshole. That's out of Damn. pocket. Right. That's wow. Love him to death. I'm not even going to go no further. Yo. That's my son I'm talking about. Love him to death. But, uh, hey, you know what? He's the definition of fuck them kids, huh? Yeah, fuck them kids. Fuck the kids. <laughs> fuck the kids. Say no. Y'all ready? He's my guy. He's starting to really starting to get it. Shot oh, clock. Always Shot double tap. Sip a clock for the wine drinkers. That's 100 percent too sweet to shot. Say it again. That's too sweet to shot. It's a sipper. Yeah, it is absolutely. And you'll find out more about that on drink reviews. True that. Yeah, true that. Yeah, buddy. Um. So yeah. Um. If this is your first time tuning in to us, we typically um we come together on Fridays. We talk our shit. Um. It don't matter what it is. We literally probably cover all topics. I don't think there's anything that we don't talk about. Um, we've talked about relationships. We talk about sport. Okay. Uh, I don't talk about porn. Right. Politics. Yeah, we're, we, multi- we're multifaceted. Oh, for sure. We yeah. cover all we topics. We stay away from religion, though, but. But we talk about porn. <laughs> what the fuck? One end of the spectrum, but not the other. Yeah, like. But either way, I'm saying, like, like I said, this is your first time tuning in. This. We don't um, talk about porn. We, do, we definitely cover a wide range of topics. Um, but before we even do that, you know, I mean, we usually recap our week and talk about, you know, how the week was, you know, I mean, just check in on one another just to make sure that, you know, we all good. Cause at the end of the day, this can be therapeutic. Um, I know that there's a few guys that I actually know personally that, you know, you, you go through things mentally and sometimes you just need a little bit of a, um, outlet, I should say. And I think in certain ways we might even provide that. To a certain extent Because um, At times You know what I mean You just be going through that shit And you just need to talk to somebody And This allows us to do that In a way that Isn't too uh, I guess intimate At times You know what I mean But then at other times it is 
So we've had both sides of the coin. We've we've done that where you had to get some shit off your chest and I was like, Let damn, I, talk I, about therapy. I feel a lot better. Excuse me. So I say that to say, like, um, any of our folks that's going through anything, no matter what it is, you can always come tap in with the guys. If you want to come sit down? We always have an extra mic um, for you to talk. And you know extra what I mean? drink. It drinks. You know, you know we, <laughs> we, we got it all going on over here. So, you know what I mean? Any I mean, of my folks you, that's going through it, you know what I mean? Come tap in. dabbling into something different. Not too far different. Yeah, not too far different. Not too far different. Where are we getting? Where are we going? I said not too far. We know what f- too far is. And I ain't even saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I just think that, you know, I just want to make sure that, that, he that our folks know <laughs> that, <laughs> yeah, I want our folks to know that this is a safe place. You know what I mean? Like, if you need to get that shit out, come fuck with us, man. Like, we we we're here for that have too. A great time. You know what I'm saying? Like, we want to have fun, but we also want to make sure that we we also are tapping in and making sure that the people that's closest to us are are not. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can come chop it up. Oh, okay. Well. Mm. There's that always that. I'm privileged drinkers, baby. But no, seriously, like that's that, that's just something that I wanted to say before we 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 jumped Ooh, into the week. My week was cool. I didn't have um too much going on. I, I ain't gonna say I didn't have too much going. on. I had enough going on where my week was busy enough. I had doctor's appointments um for the kids. Uh, we went to the movie theaters one day. Um, I want to say it was something else we did too, because I feel like he was getting out of school early a few times. But um, it was a good week though overall. I think. Um, oh, Valentine's Day obviously was this week. That's what it was, and um, I was able to let the wife just get like an hour <laughs> off from the kids. All lonely, you know what I mean? Like I had to. they, uh, you know, my son is is primarily breastfed, so just for her to even have an hour without him is is a good thing. So I was, she was able to, you know, go to the nail salon and get that shit done while I took them to Chuck E. Cheese. So that was cool, you know what I mean? Just for her to have just a moment to herself without the kids. That's what's up. Yeah, so um, I wish it could have been hit longer. The button, hit the button. But, um, you know, it's just one of those things where I just try to, you know, be be ever present and, and make sure that, you know, and let, let her know that the hard work that she does throughout the course of a day, especially dealing with my youngest, is, is, is definitely appreciated. Right those feet? Of course. That, that's, that's what I question. I, I don't. She don't have to ask for that. That's something I do on a regular anyway. So that's just different. I take the initiative to do things like that to make sure that she knows that she appreciates it. So that's different. I don't. That's not a Valentine's Day thing. That's a everyday thing for real. I mean, I guess Valentine's Day is every day. For her, it is shit. Boom. You know what I mean, she get a, she get a shoulders rub, back rub, legs rub, feet rub, hand rub. You know what I mean? She you get all this. on up for entry, yeah. Whoa, okay, buddy. <laughs> is that all you think about? Everything is sexual with you, buddy. What? He's rubbing, he's rubbing and tugging and shit. I ain't you say, said, nothing, about you about ain't say nothing about tugging. I just said like I make sure that she's she's. she's what would he be tugging? Wait, what is going on? Right. Yeah. Now you got to pull. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. I didn't even think <laughs> that. Now you got to pull that big. You got to pop that what? pencil. <laughs> <laughs> Next. I'm not even it's saying just, nothing else. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess yeah, I'll go. All that. Yeah. On uh, to the next. Yeah. The week starts on Sunday, and my week started horribly. Oh, like mm. uh, it was a it was a bunch of emotions. I rather you have gone last. We could have. Yeah. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. My, my bad. I usually right. go second. That's why. I'm right. At, but you know, I'm not, I'm not going to get into it until it's time to talk about it. But yo, my, <laughs> my week started off horribly. Uh, uh, that was Sunday. I was still feeling the effects of it Monday. Tuesday, Valentine's Day, that was a, a decent day for me. Mm-hmm. Um, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today, we had a a free day at school. They gave us a bunch of different activities we could do without the kids there. We had, I had a massage. I did, uh, we played Dirty Minds. Mm. I won $20 playing that. Like, I was. Good job. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. I walked into work today with $0 in my pocket. Walked out with 30 So. I like the was, sound of that. It was a good day. So, it was up. Payday, huh? And it was payday, yeah. So, I mean, that's my weekend in that show. Oh, you stink! I didn't do anything. Oh my god! This boy be letting loose back there. Let loose. (laughs) Stale spinach. I didn't didn't do anything. What? You know it's stale spinach. That's that's my way. That. Uh, well, that's why the people are hey. drinking, walking upstairs to uh, oh my God. go to the bathroom. Somebody might have shit themselves, apparently. 
<laughs> Sound like the captain. A nigga finna get loose. Well. Well, nah, I guess I'm next. Uh, oh, man. I said the week starts on Sunday. Eh, well, <clears throat> how my week ended on Saturday? Well, depending. Eh, all right, well, Saturday. this is what happened. Uh, Saturday starts the week. Technically. You just, yo, you just said two different statements. <laughs> because it do, but it depends on what you, whatever. No, no, uh, no, 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 yeah, no, no, no. Well, well I'm going depend- to go, go from the last time we seen each other, and then I'll talk about, so. I guess y'all know what episode was happening. <laughs> uh, I started off the week going to a birthday party. Uh, shout out to Munch and Tia Tia, turned 45. That's, that's my man, Munch wife. Happy birthday to her. Um, on the way there, we stopped at the, uh, Total Wine and Spirits over there, and, uh, goddamn, name, name is Rude. Um, I did have a new drink this week. I had something called, uh, I'm not sure if you gentlemen had it, the Kazoo 100, Kazoo, C-A-Z-U, C-A-Z-U-L 100, Reposado. Um, you know how we do, you know, you... Uh. You grab a random before we leave, and that shit was pretty damn good. It was about seven dollars for like a little Nipsey. Or, um, but hmm. um, that so that was seven dollars. Yeah, okay. I splurged a little bit. That's a lot of it. I splurged a little bit. That that was good. So I had that. I also had. I picked up uh, the Cantano Tequila Cantano Orandane. It's a repo. <laughs> 100% agave. I'm like a thousand percent sure he said this. Word. I want to see. Cantonero Orandane. So you added a letter the second time you started. Right, cool. So I'm not wrong. Oh. No. So that. So Stop, actually, man. I had that as well. Yo, what's up, um, buddy? Yo. Ain't, oh none, ain't nothing God. happening. Everything good up here. <laughs> yo. <laughs> motherfucking cool. Motherfucking cool. Yo, he's motherfucking, up, yo, he's motherfucking up, cool, though. No, he's oh. over here burning the leather off the seats. <laughs> No, no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yo, all right, look, come on, we're we gonna get on with it. We're gonna uh, get on with it. I'm just trying to discuss the new drinks I had. Yo, for seventeen dollars, that's not a bad tequila. Um, I've had it straight. Um, I had a few shots of it, and I um made a couple margaritas with it. Amazing. Um, try to get over this real quick. I have my notes read. Down. All right. Oh, so I actually took my son to renew his passport this week. Funny story. Damn, renew? Yeah. That's some heavy shit to say for a 13-year-old. 12-year-old holding? 12. Damn. Yeah, his first one when he was seven. That's some shit. Yeah. Privilege. Never mind. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Shit, you the shit all our no, children. No, 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 no. We ain't even got to get there. Go ahead. Um, So, I get there, right? Um, I'm going to try to get this as fast as I can. So, when you... <laughs> when, when you walk up... And you, you know, you're renewing a passport, applying for a passport, whatever. I have sole physical, sole legal and sole physical custody of my son. So I go there. I got my, my paperwork from, from signed from the judge. Um, I got everything I need. So I, I get there. And, uh, you know, she asked me, you know, like, what are you here for, sir? I said, you know, renew my son's passport. So okay, no problem. She's like, well, where's the mother? I said, I don't know. She's, uh, I guess she at work. Well, you know, you need the other parent. I said, no, I don't. She's like, yes, you do. I said, no, I don't. She's like, well, unless you, you have full custody, take that. Take that. <laughs> See what I mean, I ain't said that to her, but take that. Yeah. I want you to know. <laughs> hey, hey, look, look, listen. I've had, and it's not like, man, we went through a lot. I ain't going to sit up here and cry and shit, man. I spent thousands upon thousands upon thousands of dollars. Everybody, you know, that's a drinker and beyond knows about my story. So, you know what I mean? Uh, I fought, you know, for, for my son. And, you know, me and his mom have a better relationship now. But he's where he needs to be. And, you know, for a single father going to sit like a post office, which I, in which I work at, um, it was just a different office, going in there applying for, you know, your child's passport, it's like, well, damn, where's the other parent? Like, I'm not sure what they would have did. If you know, it was just a mom walking in there with a kid. They, it's probably protocol. It's the so the thing, both yeah. parents still had to be there. Yeah. Um, so for those of you that don't know, even if you're married and you neither one of you, uh, neither, neither one of the parents has uh, cut. No parent has custody of their child unless you actually go and file for it. I know it. That's just what the fuck it is. I've been through it. Like you just don't. Like you can fuck. 
You just you just don't. So, um, what I'll say is, when she told me, like, well, where's the other parent? I said, well, she's not here. You got full custody? Yeah. The crazy part is, she read the first line, or maybe the first half of a paragraph. She went to the back page. She seen the judge's signature. You ain't going to read through all that shit, lady. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're not going to go through all that. All right, well, do you have his old passport? <laughs> got that, too. What else you need? <laughs> check a check, debit card. Yep. Got that, too. What else you need? I work for the post office. I already know this. Yeah, the application already signed. So what's up? Yo, are you ready to send this shit off for what? Because I am. Do your job. <laughs> you know what I mean? Listen, we, we doing it for, uh, shout out to, 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 to Wynn and Ish. You know, I look at Wynn as a big brother and Ish as an older sister. Um, the reason why I'm doing it, um, honestly, is because um, we, we're going to Jamaica in June. Um, they're, they're celebrating 20 years of marriage. And, uh, you know, kudos, shout out to them. Um, mine's was actually, no, Josiah's expired actually last year. I didn't know that. Mine's actually expires next month. So, um, either way, I had to do it. But, um, you know, shout out to Big Bro and Big Sis. Um, but it was just a funny story to tell, like, you know, how, you know, I was actually fucking uh, uh, profiled, I would say. <laughs> uh as a black man walking in there with a little, you know, with my little black boy. <laughs> I, I don't like they, 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 they looked, it, it, it was like, she looked at me as if, I had a whole folder, mind you. I'm already ready to go. Checks, debit card. Uh, the, the, do you have his picture? I forgot about that. Yeah, I already, listen, I already did it because I just had to do it myself. I had to just renew mine. Right. But the weird part is, I had to mail mine's in. So for those of you that don't know, if you're renewing your passport, you 18 years old, you gotta mail, you have to mail, we have an option now for you to mail yours in. Um, for 16 and under, you actually have to go to the post office or any you no know, passport agency agency and uh, renew or uh, apply for a new passport. But anyway, that was that was that was that was that part of my week on Wednesday this past week. Um, me and my God, son, damn, I took, we only on Wednesday. Yeah, I took my son out what? the outback. Um, I received a gift card from Christmas. I have no idea who who gave us this gift card, but I treated my son to Outback. Went to Outback, had a good time with him, um, and that that was that part of my week. Oh, so while I'm at Outback, right? We we are all a fan of spicy margaritas. They Outback has a, it's a seasonal drink. I have to shout out this woman because she made this drink perfectly, and I love spicy margarita. It's a spicy mango rita that Outback now has. I'm not sure if uh, your next bartender, barmaid, bar guy, whatever you want to call him, will make this drink as perfectly as Natasha did from the Outback on uh, on 611 Oak Road in Abington, uh, PA. Uh, but shout out to her. Um, she just became a new follower of uh, Unprivileged Drinkers. You know, we really appreciate it. Um, I thank you. I thank you for the drink. Um, and it was so good. You know, I had to have it twice. So shout out to you. And that, that was uh, my Wednesday. And uh, I'm trying to think. Did I do anything else? Let me check my I notes real not. quick. God damn. Let me check Say my notes. Quickly. Oh, 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 yeah. Well, that was it. Oh, and uh, go Cowboys. I do have one question to ask y'all while I'm up here on the mic. Can we let Dink do his week first? All right, yeah, you do your week. All right, all right. I think. It was is, is seven, that, it? that was seven minutes. Is that it? I think, I think that's it. I think. Well, it was seven. My weeks be long, though. My, my weeks do be long. Your weeks are the same ones as everyone else's. Well, no, we leave out shit. Sometimes a little no, more exciting. We, no, we leave out shit <laughs> for the show. You decide not to. But I, I did leave out some stuff for the show. <laughs> I want you to know the story wasn't funny. You telling the story was funny. It's two different things. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Ah, that was funny. Nothing. <laughs> Think who's next? I'm privileged drinkers, baby. Yeah, yeah man, I'm so glad that I finally got Josiah's new passport. All right. Sent off. Um, my week starts. Cause fuck Valentine's Day. I ain't have a Valentine. Okay. It is not no done. longer your turn. He's not done. So, um, yeah, my week starts Sunday, and you know, of course, uh, Sunday was Super Bowl Sunday. Had a cap and dirty over over the house. We watched the game together. Enjoyed each other's. Uh, company drink a lot eat a lot um and uh 
you know, besides dirt, you know, we just enjoyed each other's each other's time for the, you know the last the last game of uh, football season. And I had a blast. I'm sure you did. We just enjoyed the game. Um, it wasn't a blowout. I was definitely excited about that. Um, you know, so, you know, that was the start. And, you know, this week was Valentine's Day. Um, for those who listened to the last episode, you know, my wife was on. We don't really care too much for Valentine's Day. So, you know, it's, there's there's other days that I would rather put more effort into to showing how much I love her or appreciate her um, than Valentine's Day. But I will say on that day, um, <laughs> she stayed up to like fucking midnight playing that Hogwarts <laughs> Legacy shit. Oh, best game out. Shit's fire. Best I, game I, out. I, I did buy that for her and she's like addicted to the shit. And I think it's, I think it's cool that she's addicted. And uh, I think it's cool that she plays the game that much because it's like i don't know much about it so i'm like learning off a whim just watching her play and shit and it's 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 kind of dope it reminds me of the time when we first started dating and she would play like games and stuff like that when we were when we were younger so i i find that kind of i find that to be dope um uh let's see other than that that's you know it's 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 really it's really been my week Nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. Nothing special. Just a you know regular work week. And like Dirt said, uh, Friday today we had a uh, PD day, sort of like a day off. We didn't have no um, no kids in the building, and it was a wellness day. That's what they call it. You know, I feel like my wellness day would have been me being home. That's a fact. Um, I heard that from somebody at the school. That shit was hilarious. But. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing, nothing too crazy. No, no, week was a little regular. So. Did you get any? You, no, but no, wait, wait, wait. You see that? It's three minutes. That wasn't three minutes. That was more like four. It started eleven twenty six. But he want to say weird shit, and I can answer that question, but he won't believe me. But it's fine. But I'm gonna leave it where it is. Reese, he went. He went. No. I, did, I wasn't talking about him <laughs> talking about his week. Oh, my bad. Why are you looking at me? He said it too. Yeah, I looked you at both did of too. I looked at both of y'all. You did too. Yo, you can never do dirt. Nobody can ever do dirt with you. Because they are going down too. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> so the Mo, Curly, Sue, Victor, Ramik, Saul, Sadiq. He's just Reese. naming people now. No. Usually bring us a topic, so. Yeah, I mean. That was just on you. I think first we should crack open this beer, right? Uh, yes. It's been 30 minutes. Damn near. It's 23. Should we let the person talk that uh, gave no. us this beer? No. Or, oh, it's man. a French toast beer. We're going to try it. <laughs> nope. So, while at Wine and Spirits, <laughs> I mean, uh, oh my God. not Wine and Spirits, but Total Wine and Spirits. I'm sorry. Uh, Can I get the bottle? On Namus on Road, um, I decided uh, that I'll pick up something for my drinkers to try. And today we have. But he only bought three of them. I actually drunk one. Oh, that's selfish as <laughs> shit. <laughs> Fuck, I saved three. Wait, By no, five. It was four. It, yeah, it was. It he was. drank Somebody one. Else, oh, well, Reese has one. And no, no, no. It's three here because tried, he drank one. I tried one. <laughs> selfish Fuck, as shit. I like brunch. That's Fuck. some fucked up. Never mind. Um, so I just wanted to see, you know, what, what, what my guy. I don't really remember what it tastes like to be honest. I don't get the point out. Matter of fact, I tried the soup bowl Sunday. I was. By the time I got the crib, I was lit. Anyway, I picked up the French Toast Bear. Um, it was a four pack. Southern Tear Brewing Company. Never heard of them. It's an Imperial. It's no, Imperial L. That's a specialty. Uh, coming in at 8.6 alcohol by volume. Cute little label on the bottle of French toast with uh, syrup. <laughs> cute? Little, little butter and syrup. Yeah, it's cute. Why? Well, okay. If you hate Valentine's Day so much, why you wear red this week? This is a workout shirt. I'm sorry. This is just one of my just, workout just shirts. Just a question. This is the same tight ass shirt that you were talking about. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, it was tighter. No, no, it was tighter. It was different. I got a couple. What was the different one? I got different. I that got one different was tighter. One. That's hilarious. I forgot about that. Not, yeah, I remember you was talking about his his tight <laughs> red shirt. That shit. Yo, that's hilarious. Does it stink? It smells exactly like it smells like um 
What's the shit called? Like the it's a it's a cereal. Oh, oh waffle crisp. Yep, waffle that's exactly crisp. What it is? That was one of my favorite. Oh, shit, is that which one? I don't like that. That that this this about to be sweet as hell. I'm scared. It would take for you to buy some shit you, like you this. Pouring, you pouring this up? Or? Man, no, you, you can pour it up. I don't have no, to, no, I, listen, I don't no, no. Miss it. You can have it. I'm privileged. No, 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 no. I'm saying like we're sharing this one. I, but I'm wondering like. Wait, no, you can. Yeah. No, you, we got to try it at the same time. This though. beer was fifteen ninety nine for a four, four pack. Yes. We That's because it's 8.6 by volume. So. Yeah. You want, he going to drink it. He ain't, thank you, man. Thank you. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't Come on, bitch. I'm waiting on y'all so we can go. <laughs> all right, so anyway, uh, uh, hey, you know, I try to like, we, we, all, we all try to find different oh, drinks for yeah. uh, us to try that we, we've never had before. So what the fuck say thank you, guys? The fuck? We don't know if we're going to like it yet. I'll you say should still you. say thank you. Why? So, I ain't never buying you sons of bitches. Never got Did you that. say thank you to us when we bought that white whiskey? That shit was no. disgusting. No, 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 no. But, but, that's why you did, but that's why you didn't say thank you, though. But that's why you didn't say thank you, because it wasn't thank, good, thank right? Thank you for the white whiskey. Horrible. I don't need you to say thank Horrible. you. Horrible. Here we go. Fresh toast. Tap it twice. So they can see it. Oh, boy. You ready? You didn't even say lip. the name of it. Mm. Did y'all say the name mm. of it? Southern he Tear? He's gonna put he his did. soup kills on it. Mm-mm. Don't put your mouth on because I put my phone. Yeah. Okay. Don't I, put your mouth up on my phone. Why are you handing it to me? I kind of figured that. I don't know what you get into. Actually, I know what you get into. That's why I don't want it. And then you're not gonna put your lips on it. This brother's confused. So what I'll say is the the taste doesn't match the smell. The smell makes you think you're really going. To the taste like you drink the, ta- the taste maple puts syrup. your taste puts your mind of a coffee type of beer. Yes, it does. It absolutely does. So I would give it about a six and a half. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the strength of it because I like stronger beers for the most part. Um, but taste I do that get syrup that, though. I do taste that. It's like syrup coffee at the end. Yeah, yeah. Syrup coffee. So I would give it like I said. I got a six. I, give I don't six. hate it. I don't hate it, but I don't love it either. Tastes like a black coffee with syrup. Like a black coffee. No sugar, no creamer. They just add syrup. It's waffle crisp in a bottle. Yeah. That's wild. I never thought you could bottle that taste. Yeah, me either. I mean, so if this is what they were going for, kudos. Right. Not for me. It says specialty, so. Special guest. Go sit down. But not, like, so I think. It tastes like a coffee type of beer, but that syrup taste is like combating. Overbearing. Mm-hmm. Overbearing. I guess so. Uh, no, no, no. I would no, it's not. It's not not for me. Um it combats the, the, the coffee taste to me versus uh what did we just have from Attic Brew? Straight coffee. Oh my god. The year three. three? The year, year three. three. Yeah. Straight coffee. I like that better than this. Oh yeah, now nah, yeah, I, nah, I can yeah, I, yeah, I agree. So I'm I'm gonna run this in at uh, six point five. Okay. Uh, just barely making it. Um, I would like to have this with like a nice brunch. Um, I, I would like to have this with a nice brunch. I, I can't, I you know, no dinner, no lunch. Uh, I wouldn't want to keep drinking these for the Sixers game. Um, or you know, Phillies or Flyers like. Or cow, like I just like I wouldn't just keep drinking this. I would have I would have to be sitting down, probably eating something, um, or trying it out as we're doing um, this evening um, to give you guys a review on it. Um, I'm pretty sure somebody's gonna give us a ten. It's just not me. Yo, you set, you set yourself up though. You said I want to have a, have it with a nice brunch. Then you said no dinner, no lunch. <laughs> Supposed to say no dinner, no lunch, just a nice brunch. You were there. You had it. This fucking close. <laughs> this fucking close. Okay. No dinner. No lunch. No, don't say it now. It don't Just work Just a now. nice brunch. No, he, <laughs> that was ass. That was fucking horrible. There. There you have it. That was fucking horrible. So I said six. You said six and a half. I didn't give it a number at Oh, all. you ain't go yet. You, you said six and a half. He said six and a half. So you did, you went yet though? No, I, have, I, you I, said, I just said it tastes like a black uh, coffee with syrup. I didn't oh, I know I heard you talking, but I'll go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, I would like I wouldn't have another one. Like, I, I'm gonna finish this beer, 
But I wouldn't have another French toast. But like, but I, but I, six and a half is recommendable. So are you recommending recommending it? Recommending yeah. it. Barely, bro. Barely I'm recommending. Yeah, I'm. I'm right. Six point five is, you know, it's our lowest standard of uh, recommendation for for alcohol, spirits, wines, whatever. But yeah, it's recommendable. Oh, excuse me. Um, I don't like coffee, so this shit is disgusting to me. Um, <laughs> the four. So my that. wife might like it, but uh, I'm not a fan. I don't. I mean, that was, that was simple enough. <laughs> it, it's 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 not cool for me. Like I don't I don't like this shit. Like it's just it like I said, it reminds me of coffee, and I don't I'm, I'm not a coffee drinker. I've never been. I don't plan on being in a couple years. I, I'm not a coffee. Here's what I say about that. Jeez, man. I'm not a coffee drinker. <laughs> oh, what? Cause you was just like, no, I'm in sleep, man. I didn't know if you was finishing or not. You done? <laughs> I'm done now. I I just won't work. I'm I'm not a fan. Go ahead. Finish what you what you were saying. So I'm not a big time coffee drinker, but there there are call uh, there, f- different flavors of coffee that I like, which is I was told like it's not real coffee. So like Dunkin' Donuts has this uh pumpkin spice that they'll serve like seasonal in the in the wintertime. I love the, the 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 iced or or you know the hot coffee, the gingerbread one. That was by far my favorite coffee that they came out with. That was seasonal, and I they just don't sell it. The pumpkin spice, I believe, they sell all year round. The gingerbread, I, I had it once, never had it again. Like that, that was my favorite. Uh, and all they do is just squirt the little syrup, infuse fucking whatever it is in, inside. And you, you, you know your hand motion is kind of crazy right now. This is not yeah. squirting syrup. Squirting syrup, yeah. Uh, that's what they do. They whatever. All right, and into the iced coffee or the, or the hot coffee. So, it, although I'm not a big fan of coffee, I do find myself wanting coffee every now and then, even if it's like uh, some hazelnut or uh, French vanilla. Like I'm always I'm into all them like exotic flavors, like uh uh. uh the fuck like they got a white chocolate little shot they can put in there <clears throat> that's that's fine with me like all the seasonal this coffees i'll try um so with that being said i i can't say like i totally am not a fan of coffee because i do love the different flavored coffees and i do have a taste for i, I do have a want for we don't give a fuck about if you like coffee or not mm-hmm. Let other people talk. God <laughs> damn. You went on a whole tangent about pumpkin spice and shit. Like, don't nobody care about gingerbreads? <laughs> Golly. What, what, what the fuck? Nobody cares about gingerbreads. <laughs> Yo, let me get my let me get my rating. Yeah. Right. He didn't he never God damn. Rating. He never gave his rating yet. I don't think nobody cares, but go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck? This nigga talk about coffee forever. So I'm not the biggest fan of coffee. If I do have coffee, I only drink like two of them. I have one. I have a drink at Starbucks. I have a drink at Dunkin'. This ain't it. It's like I said. It tastes like black coffee with syrup. I do black not. Black coffee. It, t- it tastes like black. It gives you the bitterness of black coffee, but you I, I taste that hint. But you, you you taste that hint of syrup at the end. Like not even at the end, all the way through. Like I'm about to say, it's not. It's, it's, it's not there. A that shit like, is very taste strong. It, but, I, but I but I still taste that that bitterness. So not for me. I give it like a three. You all do right. not. You do not need to go and get this at all. If you look at it, look the other way. God damn. Yeah, this shit is nasty. I mean, to each his own. Everybody has their opinion, and I respect that. So you know, if it's not for you, it's not for you. But you know, you never know. It might be for somebody else. But also, I think. Like I said, it's like black coffee. Like the coffees I get are like caramel or like cream and sugar. So I prefer my coffees to probably be like a bit sweeter. That's probably exactly why I wouldn't like this. So if you're a black coffee drinker and you like beer, this may be your shot. But so maybe it's probably more catered to like maybe I think people who like iced coffee. coffee. I, yeah, I think yeah. flavored coffee. Ice coffee drinks with lettuce. Right, right. Maybe that, but like, maybe it's for possible. Because yeah. I don't get that black stuff. I don't like, like ice coffee. I, if I'm going to drink coffee, I like hot. I coffee. prefer. I prefer. I don't want ice coffee. I want cold coffee. I don't like that. Oh, I, I love it, man. Give me a I fucking fuck spice coffee. made I right. 
Mm-mm. I like my shit hot. Oh, gingerbread. I, I drink it warm, but I had a fucking uh, like a like a type of cookie, John. They had like cookie chunks in it. That's what I'm saying. I cookie like all dough. that exotic shit. It was, it was something. It was I love like, all that. Might have been like you know that's what Snooker it doodle like. Some shit like all that, that sweetener. This tastes like a hazelnut coffee. That's probably what it is. Yo, I don't get hazelnut from it, though. No, this is I know, probably the closest I know, thing. I know Tanisha likes it. I think that's like the closest thing. That I'm, now that you said it, it is. Because I, I like a French vanilla. I like a hazelnut and all that kind of shit. I, but I fuck with caramel. So that, that, that's my go-to. And that's like anywhere I go. Caramel. Right. If, if I'm getting a the coffee, it's caramel. Yada, crap, a cappuccino. Cappuccino? Could you fart so Cappuccino. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so listen, right? Um, Dirt had brought it up. Um, before, and we don't want to try to be too long winded on this because I it's just late. Want to talk then. Thanks, <laughs> but um, he was talking about how the week started off. Um, obviously, the Super Bowl was played on Sunday. It was the Eagles versus the Chiefs in Arizona. <laughs> uh, Rihanna did perform at ha- the halftime show. A lot of people That's didn't my like baby. it. Oh, even uh, I ain't gonna say a lot. Some people didn't like it. Some people did like it. Some people just kind of like in the middle and kind of like whatever. Um, I liked it with a pregnant ass. <laughs> that sounds shut up. so like shut up predatory. Uh, shut up, just shut up. But um, so what I'll say is the halftime performance for me was a little bit more like me me yearning for more. I'm gonna just talk about the halftime performance first um, because. When she first came out, I said, I'm, me and my wife, we was at home. We watched it at home. Um, when she first came out, I said she's pregnant. She was like, why you say that? I'm like, look at her stomach. Like, you see she bulging. But she you know, didn't see it at first. I kept saying it. But you know what's crazy? Like, because you did keep it. Sorry to cut you off. But as we're watching, because I was super excited for the game. Like, this is the, like, I really couldn't. I didn't care less about I couldn't care less about the halftime show. Mm. And I, like, mm. I fuck with Rihanna for real, for real. Like, people know. Like, I fuck with Rihanna. Right. But it was like. I was really more excited about the game. Maybe like halfway through the show, I hear everybody talking about, oh, she's pregnant. In my mind, it was like something that was going around social media like right. before this happened. I'm like, like, did y'all know she was pregnant? Right. Oh, no, we just found out. Well, how the fuck did you find out? Oh, just look at her. Why the fuck y'all looking so hard? Like, I, but but that would probably explain why the show wasn't as good as you thought yeah. it would be. And that's, and that's what I was about to get into because – she didn't notice it at the very like onset of her starting to perform. I said, if she don't dance like how I know she can dance, that's how I'm gonna tell. And like, the first like couple of times, I was like, she pregnant. And then when she kind of like started to like do a little shit, I'm like, yeah, she definitely pregnant. Mm-hmm. Then I went, you know me, I go to Twitter first. Irish she twins just, go right on the joint. I was like, it, our publicist confirmed it. I was like, yeah, but well, that's a wrap. And we, I say that to say because a lot of people are anticipating an album from her. We probably won't see that ever. Maybe ever. Ever. I was going to say maybe a couple years, like three, four years or something like that, because I think she want to raise a family and kind of do that that, that type of thing. But and I, she I, making so much money off of this fancy shit that I think that I was just about to say I feel music like has become a back burner. I think, she's every, she, she has hit every goal she probably Corn has. Corn in the market. So. Yeah, she's like, so. music music wise, she's platinum. She's a billionaire, like from fucking from makeup, makeup and, and lingerie, lingerie and shit so like that. She she has it all. So I, I I bring that up, you know, because I thought that the Super Bowl, the halftime show anyway, was somewhat entertaining. It could have been better. I had hopes that she would bring out certain people because she started doing certain songs. So I'm like, oh shit, maybe she about to bring it. Maybe she about to, and it never happened. So it's just kind of like they literally just gave her this one moment. To kind of like, I guess, shine a light on her. And one thing that I didn't know prior to maybe last year, I think it was, that the Super Bowl, when you perform, you don't get paid. You actually have to pay to perform at the Super Bowl. But your money that you get as far as how they do it is your streams will probably go through the roof after the fact. But you basically, you're, you have to pay to basically perform. So I was like, damn, that's deep. I never knew that until... It is the most watched sporting event in the world, so that's It's not, though. I mean, not in the world, but in the country. That's in the country, country, right. It's not, because obviously... FIFA, you know, uh, FIFA, yeah, World, World FIFA. Cup. The World Cup, right. But I just thought that, you know, that was... I felt... How can I say this without... Because I, I don't want to disrespect her, because I thought that she did what she could do in a moment. Because I think the the... The set was better than the performance. Let's just say that. Okay. The floating joints that she was yeah. doing, I thought that was decent. Man, what did they compare the floats to, man? 
Uh, what's that game uh, that Dev like oh, yeah. Nintendo John Smash Bros. Smash Brothers, yeah. Smash, yeah. They can play it to a Smash. Oh, Bros. that's set. funny. Yeah. Uh, I, didn't that. I didn't see that. I didn't yeah, see that either. Like, yeah. watch out, Rihanna. No, you, uh, they had Bowser come. Down. Honestly, <laughs> I ain't been on the gram all week, so I, oh, I, I, I wouldn't know. That's so, funny. I didn't see that. So we can jump into that, right? So listen. So before we go, and I, I don't want to. I, I definitely don't want to be. You didn't want us to win. Too, he didn't want you to win either. Too very long winded. But it's different for him. But no, seriously, I want to bring this up because I feel like as as content creators and people who have a platform, they have a responsibility of what it is they put out there. And some people who we follow on different platforms, the way they go about saying it's cool if you say a certain shit in front of your people that you know that you can keep between you is an intimate moment you don't have to but it's some things that you should you shouldn't and, and and you just have to be more accountable for when you saying that publicly on a facebook or instagram anything like that right. because at the end of the day i think in my estimation and in my opinion that philly fans have become spoiled with winning over the last 20 plus years i think andy reed brought in the era of Thanks. winning Y'all went to like three NFC championship games. You know what I'm saying? Y'all went uh, to the Super Bowl. I'm talking about straight. Like, remember that? Them three straight, and then they finally went to the bowl. He remembers. Right. Yeah, I'm talking about that, that early onset where I remember when the expectations kind of started to grow. He remembers. And now today, you know, you got people who were super upset at the fact that y'all didn't win. And I get it. I'm not going to say, like, I'm I people. wouldn't understand I'm people. if it wasn't my team that didn't win due to a call that can go either way. Mm -hmm. But if you were on the other side of it, you would have still wanted it to be called. So it could go either way. But I'm just saying this is a message for people who have a platform and that, that, that people might look up to you. You can't go out and say, or you shouldn't go out and say, I'm not telling nobody what to do. But fuck this person. I'm going to fuck you up. I'm going to beat the shit out of you because of this. Because you wear another jersey. Or you're rooting for another team. Keep that shit to the to the to the, the, the team aspect of it. Like, if that, you that mad shit, because that's weird. somebody else that's always is weird. rooting against you. But you got to keep the same energy. Because when somebody else, team lose, y'all find the memes. Y'all find the jokes. Y'all do all that shit. Be able to take that shit when it comes full circle. I said that shit at work. You got to take I, that yo, shit listen, when it comes full circle. I, I gave that shit at work. I I I, I didn't give it to him like as, as bad as I could have because like you know what I mean. I I it's like I know y'all like if the Cowboys whether like we fucking two and twelve or oh well shit zero oh, and seventeen at this point. Like no matter what the Cowboys do, they have a commercial. <laughs> Gary yeah. Barbera, they ran special on car, a car sale. Right, dollar Cow still, dollar suck. still sucks. Right. What the fuck? That's the, web, that's the, the website. The Super Bowl. That's the website. Whatever. I'm just saying. Hey, yo, yeah, I'm just saying. I follow the Cowboys through year in and year out. I don't think they have a uh, a car sale going on there with Chevy for whoever. Saying the Eagles still suck. Right. Listen. But that's why I'm saying, like, I think that there's they a... In, man, they admire There's a responsibility they that admires. I think they that... They admire I mean, it's, it's a sales pitch. Smart, right. smart, it is, smart. It's, it's good smart, marketing. I'm not mad at sales that. sales pitch. Yeah. Um, I just think that... I'm, just, I'm only saying what I'm saying right now because I've seen... Jerry Jones. A lot of shit after they lost. People saying shit that's like, bro, that's taking it way too far. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's just certain shit. I'm not even going to repeat it because at the end of the day, I don't want to even spread that type of message because you lost. There's no way. Other, it's nothing else you can do to chop that up. Like motherfuckers, oh, he was on. They going. They tested him for steroids the, the day after. I'm like, bro, what the fuck is this? I seems like is this they real? Like it's not real. Yeah, all, like, right, all right, a eagle fan made. This. But that's oh. what I'm saying. Like, be accountable. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all been spoiled. I can't wait to talk about this shit. No, no, but see, I'm just, I only want to say this because I think that people don't realize that they have a voice and when you, you don't realize you have a voice, you don't realize the shit that you're putting out there can really harm somebody else. Like, I seen somebody post something where a nigga was like, if I seen you wearing a Chiefs jersey or anything other than the Eagles in Philly, I'm shooting you. I'm like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? Like, there is a, a level of accountability that you have to hold yourself to that you don't spread that kind of shit. You shouldn't repost that. You shouldn't comment it. You should be like, that. that's not the type of time we on. We lost. Fuck it. The players, I thought, took more accountability than the fucking fans did. And they the ones who lost. That's without question. But it's like, bro, like. That's without question. The nigga, like, I'm going to be real with you. I James told her, Bradbury. I would have broke my TV. 
I would have broke my fucking TV. Oh, they, they would call that fucking call. I was sick against up. my team because I was, I was madder than a bitch. Sick. Like, sick. I'm like, they should. I'm like, first, I'm like, damn. Well, they're going to kick a field goal. Yo, I seen the flag. I'm like, oh, I would. Be I did fucking yo, hot. But no, 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 no. But see, this is my thing though because there was like plenty of moments throughout that game that I was like heated. Mm-hmm. They can tell you mm-hmm. that was one of them. I didn't know that he put me on the gram until like maybe two days later. And Zaire, <laughs> oh, called, he was laying down. Zaire called me and told me like, no, it was the next day. He was like, he looked real, real upset on the floor. I said, well, damn, how you know that? He was like, I saw it on the gram. I'm like, this motherfucker. Right. But anyway, but it was the truth though. But no, no I was, it was sick. The truth. It I, was the truth. I, I, I it know, wasn't. It wasn't. But I don't even. I don't even know what the what it said. I just. I just. I didn't. He just said he was on the. He was on the gram. I said, oh, okay. It wasn't a show on you, basically. Yo. Huh? It was like a check on you. Yo, check it on. really wasn't even me trying to. It wasn't me trying to shit on you. It was literally right after that call and that shit happened. You laid on the floor. I said, yo, somebody please pray for my bro because some shit just wait, happened. But wait, but wait, but wait, wait. The call that was worse than that. Oh, uh, I know where you're going. You have to wait for the defense. That has never. I've never heard that. Been call a thing. I've never Yo, heard call. if you play Aaron Rodgers do it all the time. He, he made lit. his career <laughs> off of it. He <laughs> made his career <laughs> off of it. I never understood that shit. Yeah. Nigga, he made his he, made, he has made his career not waiting for the defense. Those are two of the worst calls so, I've ever probably seen. And then, and then, but, but wait, wait, one drop, no, but wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. That makes it worse is they were able to challenge the play because of that bullshit. Yeah, oh yeah, right. That right, shouldn't right. Have, that after shouldn't, a play that got after a play went uh went through. Yeah, exactly. It should have never happened. Did that overturn y'all? Yes. Yeah. Yo, the, okay. no, no, no. So the, the it was clearly I don't know if the Dallas got it. It was. I'm, it was. Com- no, it was. It was Devontae. Devontae was before that. It was, it was, it was Dallas. It was Dallas. But he, they called that. That was good. Though. That was good. It was complete. Right. It was complete. <laughs> yeah. We run a play. Oh, they had to wait for defense. I never heard they that. They called a challenge after a play. Yeah, I never had been ran. I never seen that happen before. That was the one. That is probably worse than the other one, but that, that, yeah. what, what, undoubtedly, for sure. But, for sure. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly, that was the worst. I don't know if, you've, know if you've watched it though, agree. but he was within five yards though. Oh, he was no with that so hold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I've we had talked these, about that. I've had these. Yeah, com- we no, about the, that. the pass was uncatchable. The, that too. It was within five yards. It wasn't even a hold. His hand was on his hip. His hand was on no, his the hip. The first one he did. Like, no, no, when I, you I, see the first, like the first portion I've, of the play. But I, but I feel he, like right hand I feel him. like the one that they talk about, like what they talk about the most, essentially is when he's, when he's the, up, when he's yeah. running up the field, and Bradbury's behind him. Hand, that's where they stop the camera and look. It's not a fucking hold. Like yeah, you, yeah, you they, can touch, you can touch the receiver. When you, when you like, go back and I think it was Greg Olson that said it was like they're not talking about. The second portion of it, oh, they're talking about that first portion, but it still is within five yards, which is supposed to be the safe zone. He should, yeah. it shouldn't have been called. Yeah, but so I will say this as an Eagles fan: with all that being said, yeah, after feeling like or a couple bad calls, the ref shouldn't decide a game like this. We would have won if our defense showed up. Our defense had seventy sacks or seventy plus sacks on the season. Yeah, we touched a quarterback every game. We had four. Players on our team with 10 plus sex. Mm-hmm. We didn't know how to handle receivers going in motion. We, all of a sudden, we couldn't get to the quarterback. Our linebackers couldn't co- cover Kelsey, but <laughs> that's that's expected. It's Travis Kelsey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In my opinion, the second best uh, tight end ever. Arguably the first. If you, I mean, that's the best. Gronk is the best. Yeah, but that's a, that's a conversation for another day. Hmm. But there are a bunch of factors. That went into this game that could have helped us win. That has helped us win. No adjustments in the second half. The RPO did not work in the first half at all. And we still decided not to just run the ball. I told Cat before the game started, if we win, it's going to have to be on Jalen Hurts' arm. He threw for 300 plus yards. He did what he had to do. He carried his team. Jalen Hurts, shout out to you. Yeah. I, you could ask anybody. I've doubted you because, you know, I'm a, I'm a traditional quarterback guy. Mm-hmm. I feel like a traditional quarterback is the only way you can – well, I felt like a traditional quarterback was the only way you can win the Super Bowl. You have shown me different. I am rocking with you until you're no longer an eagle, even if after you're an eagle, if that comes to pass. Mm. I'm still fucking with you. But – Definitely kudos to that. Like, listen, no, 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 no. He, he he played, new, I, I will say I have a newfound respect for the man. He played okay. a hell of a he, fucking he game. He carried game. that and, and motherfucker, Yo, bro. he wanted to win. Yeah. He wanted to win. But with all that being said, if our defense showed up, the way I know that that's why I was so upset. Right. Because I know how good we can play. There is no yo, the they they ran the same fucking play 
to score. Oh at yeah, the beginning but of on the different game, sides of the fucking at joint. the end of the game. Stubborn, <sighs> you stubborn D quarter. No, but no, wait. That, let, that, so let's that's, let's, that's let's bad. Let, that's bad coaching. Let's bad try coaching. to like put that in perspective, right? Right. All year. Considering the teams you played, you felt like you had a top tier defense. Like I think y'all finished what first, two, second we, uh, to the Niners. Yeah, behind the Niners, they were one and one. We were two and two. So okay. rush, pass, rush, pass. Right, right, right. You felt as if you, your defense could have played better against them due to the talent you had, or you felt like the defensive coordinator just blew the game. Um, Cause what's his name is Gannon. Is that the co- yeah, defensive coordinator? Yeah. The one newly took- hired coach of uh, Arizona. Coach of Arizona. Arizona. Yeah. Right. 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 So okay. I'll, I'll say this. Um, Cause you're the Eagles fan here, so I think it's best to ask you honestly. Yeah. I, I, that's honestly that's why I jumped in because I know he wanted to talk about us losing a lot. Right. I mean, you gonna go next? We about to yeah. let you go. So, Cause so, he, so, what did I do when I was there today? You know. I, I went no. I left. Like fuck. Like I ain't even speak. I ain't even speak when I left. I just fucking left. I was pissed. But I feel like. The name of the game is adjustments. You make adjustments every step of the way. We did nothing different in the second half from the first half. First half, we scored, but it was all on Jalen Hurts. He threw some dots. He threw some good passes. He definitely threw some fucking dots. Third and long joints, too. He threw some dots. Yo, and I'll be honest with you. The second pass to A.J. Brown may have been better than the first pass just that the safety got there. Mm -hmm. If it wasn't for the safety getting there and A.J. Brown being (sighs) there, that that was a hell of a pass, too. But the adjustments, it's bad coaching. Like, there's no way that you play these games. And granted, we had an easy schedule. We didn't play the best team. We, we, We had the second easiest schedule, and I think, Something like that. The, yeah. Washington. So, the four easiest schedules in the league with our division. Yeah. I think Washington was first. We were second. Dallas was third. And the Giants were fourth. Or y'all might flip-flop. I think we might have. I think we were fourth. But I'm not. I'm so, not either, so, 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 either way, it flip-flops. Right. So, but either way, we had one of the easiest schedules. Right. In the, uh, in the NFL. In the NFL. I've talked about it with more dink than anybody. But I talked about how I felt like. Dallas was a better team than us at one point. Mm-hmm. I talked about how our schedule is helping us a lot. Mm-hmm. I talked about how uh, Jalen Hurts is was like sort of a system quarterback, and he hasn't like really proven to me that he's done well. Right. And going into the playoffs, we smoked the Giants. Obviously, like I wasn't right. Nothing to be impressed about. No, at no, all. no competition. Even though the 49ers were injured, we played a hell of a game, regardless of them losing. All their quarterbacks, they 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 drop like flies. We we did what we were supposed to do. We played a hell of a game. I went into the, to that Kansas City game thinking we could win a Super Bowl. Wholeheartedly think we could win. I may have said it on here. I mean, y'all only we, we only lost four, four points away. You know what I mean it, from winning. So it, it, it wasn't that bad. But I know if we play the way I know we are capable of playing. But what you just said was y'all played a weak schedule. Mahomes. We, we definitely when you played, see Mahomes on schedule, but, but, that's not. But, but, you know but, I mean? but, but the Chiefs are weak, essentially. Like, they don't nah. have. No, 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 no. They have Travis Kelsey. Their receivers. They, no, 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 no. Listen, they, their receivers, so you can't say thought. that when you got Mahomes playing quarterback. So they're, they're, Mahomes they're, and, and. Their receivers and, cannot match up with our corners, though. And Pacheco our corners, was just. Our corners didn't come to play. And, that's the fact. And I, you can't I, say corners. They didn't even test Slay for yeah. real. But I, then also, but also, the D line didn't get to the fucking quarterback. But, I, but I'll say, uh, and, that, I'll and that's say what helps. That's what helps. The fact there was the field though. But but oh, that's yeah. a fact. That's I'll a fact. say this. I'll say this too. As much as I do not like him, Andy Reid called probably one of the best games that he's ever called. Oh, the best man, game I've I? ever seen. He ran the ball. The he ran, but he ran, he ran the ball. He did exactly the court, the what he expect. did not court, do in Philadelphia. The quarterback threw for 182 yards. And he's he like, did exactly yo, he's two did Super Bowls. Exactly I did not. I did not. He did Super exactly Bowls. what they bitched and complained about here. Yes, he did. And yeah. ran it up your fucking ass with no grease. Wait, let him finish. Wow. Him. Before you, before. Wow. Yeah, that's kind of. Like, kinda, he want, like, you know, you, you know what I hate about Cap? I'm just saying, he ran. No, 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 no. Listen, hate me, love me. I don't give a fuck. There's only two ways to go about dealing with me, play. Go. He just being. Weird. You think go, that? No, Darryl. So when you say shit like, "Oh, we have websites about uh, hate 
Uh, Dallas still sucks. Yeah. Dallas still sucks. They hate us so much. They do this. They do this. Granted, it's a lot of weird shit between the two. It is. I don't agree with a lot of it. I, I say it all the time. I don't even like Eagles fans because we're so, like, delusional at times. But, I mean, that's what the fan base is. I don't think he understands that he's, he's the Cowboys fan <laughs> he's that people that. talk about. No, I'm not. <laughs> he doesn't understand. You are you are the Cowboy fans that people talk about. How? In every way. You're all you're all you're you're always better than us. You can never give us the props that we deserve. Uh, how many props did I give off that night? I what? said Jalen Hurts. I, oh, I talking about Super Bowl. Listen, listen, yeah, I, I said listen, I have a newfound respect for Jalen Hurts now. You said that. So how many yes. props is that? That was one. You said that. I, I said this is probably one of the best Super Bowls, if not the best Super Bowl I, I've ever witnessed for my, with my own eyes in my lifetime. Really? Yeah. That's high praise. It one, one, definitely one of the best Super Bowls I've ever It's seen. one of. I wouldn't say it was the best, though. It's one of. He said, uh, he one, said of. one of. He said one of. I know, but um, it's, it, the way he said it, he said it was like yeah, it's top almost, two and not two. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no. no it, was, it was one of the one, – one, one, one definitely one of the best. Um because I think the best might have been like that that Patriots and Falcons. That's probably the best Super Bowl I've ever watched in my life. I want money off that, so that was probably the best Super Bowl I've ever watched. Because I think that's when we realized like <laughs> Brady is really a different motherfucker. Like he that just, was that was on a comeback like a comeback yeah. aspect. I but I, I'm, I'm talking about like as far as like you yeah. had the best quarterback in the game versus the best team overall in football. Who, and what? the best quarterback this year in, in football beat the best can, overall team. Can you say it one more time? The best quarterback. So, y'all, y'all face who? Y'all face Rodgers. The best quarterbacks y'all played this year. He didn't hold, say on, hold on, hold on, hold <laughs> on. Y'all play Rodgers. Y'all play Dak. Kirk Cousins don't play well, you know, in the prime time. What else y'all play that was worth of note? Uh, not, That's what I'm saying. Nobody. So, but y'all nobody. play... The fucking biggest, but baddest the man NFC on right the, now, though. Yo, y'all played the biggest. There's nobody in the NFC. Right nobody now. in the NFC. It's wide open for real. But y'all played the biggest, baddest man on the fucking planet when it comes to NFL. Patty Mahomes. I mean, but he wasn't the reason he, he lost. He, real, bro, though. he played. I mean, no, 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 he, he was. No, he, he wasn't he, the main. I reason. mean, yards wise, he no. Why are you yelling? Yo, like we had some conversation. Yard, yards wise, no. Um, he played a game, though. He played that, that, a game. I, no, he played a hell I was of about game. To, I was about to say that. I knew going in. I said, okay, of course. Like, real quick, the Eagles fans don't want the Cowboys fans to be able to talk shit in any kind of way or manner. Like, if if, if the Cowboys in the Super Bowl, and guess what? For some, listen, a lot of analysts that I've seen when I've, you know, watched sports, uh, when I watch uh, like ESPN or NFL Network and all that, I've seen two people that had us pick to play KC next year, and one of us had had us playing the Bills or the uh, Bengals. And it had us losing, but going to the Super Bowl. Y'all wouldn't be able to stand us being in a Super Bowl. Y'all, you would not want to see us win. Y- you know, I may talk a little more and be a little bit more emotional I, I about like. Though, Dre. No, no, no. Him. It, 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 about no, him. I, I, I'm talking about Eagles fans. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. But please Eagles let me give you an equalizer. Please let him talk. It, it, Neither side wants either to win. It's just that, that, that's, that's true. That, but he don't get that. That's Neither what I'm side. saying. It's so one but sided. Saying, with him. But the way that's you true. say it, it makes it seem like they would hate it more. It's equally the same. Nobody, but, but, no but, Eagle fan wants no, to see a Cowboys but see, but team this win. That's why he. But that's why he's unequal because I got a whole fucking Gary Ball Bear fucking. Uh, you talking about one? Uh, that's that's marketing, special. though. You can't be uh, mad at that. No, fuck that's that, dog. That. Like, no. So you don't that's think no uh, business, though? Yo, you. I walked into a firehouse today. That's on my route on a deli. <laughs> and the Cowboys still suck. Look. I want to say, like, I'm cool yo, with the ball. You, man, you live, you live but I want to say... Really? Like, yo, yo was just in a fucking Super Bowl. You lost. I wanted to, like, I so want to go in. I'm so cool question. with him. So I'm cool with him. Right. Let's say it's the 50s. I wasn't finished, but. It, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. It's, let's say it's the 50s, right? All right. A white fan, like a white person moves into a black neighborhood, opens a bar or something like that. And this neighborhood is a black neighborhood. Everybody is like. Coincides with each other. Everybody, gentrified as a every, Everybody's pro-black. Yeah. 
But you walk into this bar and you still see a Confederate flag. Do you think that's out of the ordinary? At that time? It's not, right? So, for you to live in Philadelphia, what? a city who hates the Cowboys, for you to walk into a firehouse and say, Cowboys still suck or fuck the Cowboys, that's what you live here. You expect to see that. And you, see, make, you make it seem like... You made a great point, and I want to harp on that real quick. It's nothing wrong with you saying fuck the Cowboys. I what I don't like is fuck the fans who like the Cowboys. No, no, I, I'm, a, I'm I not wanna, saying you. I'm just saying no, no, in I, general I know you're not. because there are fans that like the Eagles all over this country. Mm-hmm. So and, and from ver- from a lot of the standpoints of of the way Philadelphia fans feel about fans who like a team that's not in their and, state and, the and shit like that, they want to kill them off. It's almost like you can't like. You're taken away it. from what other people experience outside of this state. Like, there's people in Texas, in Dallas specifically, who the, like the Eagles. Yeah, no. yeah. So, are you saying they're less of a fan because they're not from Philly? Because they ain't riding and putting on that mask. You know what I'm saying? But, but this is my Come thing on, about man. that. That's goofy town. But no one's disagreeing with that, though. Like, you talk to me I, like, I wasn't. I, I, no. But I know that. But I'm saying, you talk to me like I'm just like a, a nigga you don't know. Like, you know how I feel about certain situations. You be like, oh, fuck it. But but that's how most people feel about Eagles fans because you have this group of Eagles fans who are like complete assholes. We know some of them. They're beyond assholes. They're t- but, but they literally I'm, I'm, like. I'm, 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 but I'm just putting. I'm just they putting, another level. I don't know what the, it's a different. I'm just, but I'm putting. Name for them. But I'm just putting something. I'm just putting a name on it. But and we know them. And for that, even like niggas who don't do the dumb shit that they do, get Man, attacked listen. for it too. But I feel like. It's, it's 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 worse with us. I don't disagree with that, but I feel like that's with every fan base. I don't it's, think it's so. It's definitely yeah. worse with us. It's, 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 I like think it's, it's elevated. So, like he was saying, so so Cat was saying, like he follows um, and, and and pays attention to the Cowboys. I I pay attention to the Cowboys more so than I obviously do the Eagles. Just granted, but on Twitter, from what I was seeing, a lot of the content creators was blocking. The Cowboys do because they don't want to hear them. I talk shit to them. I'm like, when we lose and if we're not playing y'all, y'all will literally come up with the memes, the joke, all that shit. But when somebody doing it back to you because you lost the Super Bowl, these niggas was blocking if you can't motherfuckers. Take it, don't dish it. Yeah, so if you hurt. can't take and it, don't dish it, dog. And I yeah. told this, I told that very same thing because I worked around 50 that plus fucking employees, shit, bro. If you gonna don't. do it, be able to take. And that I shit told when it come that back. shit to these motherfuckers. I, I said, if you can't dish it, don't take because I'm coming here with all the fucking jokes. And, I, and see, bro, I don't even man, do that shit. Like, 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 like I now I heard because I work around talk, 50 plus motherfuckers. Like, listen, I said, I walked in the X pot. I said, listen, I got all the jokes. So y'all can come in here, you know, yeah, because, you know, normally everybody speak to everybody. And they motherfuckers walking by all casually because I didn't go to work that Monday. Mm. I always take off day at the Super Bowl. I went to work that Tuesday. Doo, doo, doo. I'm whistling and walking to the motherfucker. Snigger was swinging the rope. Yep. Yeah, you know I mean, snap my fingers and shit. They, they, they knew, like, yeah, you excited? Yeah, I'm, I'm good. You know, I'm happy. Fuck, I woke up this morning. Yeah, fuck, I, I'm fucking amazingly happy to wake up every fucking morning. Yep. And then they started talking about uh, the game and all that shit. And, I, and all I said was, yo, listen, y'all was up 10 and a half. You know what I mean? Listen, I have a newfound respect for Jalen Hurts. So that's kind of how I got game, started. Yep. Can't say nothing about I said, that. yo, then. My man Pac comes walking in. We dap up and all that. I said, man, listen, yeah, I got jokes. They said, I got jokes. I said, yo, what? Get, you know, bring shit. Like, wow, his fucking cubicle. Well, he, y'all probably, you know, for those of it's fucking pretty much cubicle. He, his cubicle's right next to mine. Mm. And uh, uh, so he ain't really, like, go, go on too much about it. But, like, I was like, uh, uh, oh, man, what was the song, man? <laughs> Oh yeah, oh, that man. was a, we were saying yo, yo, so bad, yo. Yo, when so the Eagles, when Brian, the Eagles Brian forget, Mc, Brian oh, McKnight. I'm still in love. I'm, I'm when the Eagles forget, Brian when the Eagles McKnight. forget how to fly. Brian McKnight still in love. Oh the man, first, the, the chorus, the very first chorus, yeah, the chorus, man. When those Eagles forget how to fly, man. Then I start singing that shit. Yeah, you know I mean, because it's like probably about eighty five percent like Eagles fans in there. Like, listen, I'ma talk my shit. They talk they shit. That's just what it is, man. The f- crazy part is our like rival is honestly throughout history's times the fucking Washington fucking Commanders. It's not the Eagles. Right. The, the, the Eagles and Cowboys. That's just the fucking Philly Dallas thing. Right. It's like it, it's really not like historically. Right. Historically, yeah. And it's that, really Washington. That's because the, it's really Washington. So Washington, if I lived 
tried to prevent the college yeah. becoming an organization back right. in 1960. So That's if I lived in Washington, the dollars would probably be fucking different. But like, you know what I mean? Like I was like designed to like, you know, and and my, you know to not like the Eagles. Like and like I said, my my pop, he 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 liked the Eagles, but he was a diehard Packer fan, like diehard. So like you know I like. We we talked about this a little while ago. Your favorite athlete, mine's Emma Smith. Like you go back to the episode and listen to it. You know that's that's the re- my reasoning for liking the Cowboys. Not so much you know the nineties. You knew it was like seventy. I said yo, man, I was playing fucking little league football eight years old. My fucking son still played little league football eight years old. He understands understands the games. He understands the game very well. He could probably like talk uh, more intellectually than like most adults. Like when it comes to like understand like that the fucking average adult. Like, he'll fuck your mind when it comes to sports. Like, he knows football really, really well. You know what I mean? And he's played that game. So, when you play it and, and, and you have knowledge about it, it's, it's different. So, but I'll go back to <sighs> me. I'm not going to say I wholeheartedly knew y'all were going to lose, but I had a good feeling about it um, because – the pass rush out and going into the game, I said, "There's no way Andy Reid, um, as smart as he is, is going to let that pass rush just like negate his whole offense of, of game plan." I thought it would have been like a lot of little quick screens, um, the motions what they what they've been doing. Um, so I said they're going to find. It, it, I was like they're going to find a way. Wait, let me ask you a question though. So you said game. going into the game, you thought that the Chiefs was going to win? Yeah. I, I, oh I no. Did. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I, yeah. I did. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I, I, I ain't gonna lie. I not, didn't. I not, said the Eagles was gonna win. You know, not, not, not to um, not to cut him off because I know he's still gonna um, he's still gonna finish. But out of all the people who who I know that watch football, Dre was probably the only one who came to me and was saying, "I got the Chiefs. I I, I got the they Chiefs. Got the baddest man on the planet, and they have an offense that I think." If you all you you know that that rush, it's a way to negate four dudes. That game didn't really blitz too much. It's, it's a way to negate that. You didn't, you just, didn't really blitz. We didn't blitz. That's what I'm saying. It's a but, way to negate that wait, rush. Though. And I said they're gonna find a way. But they negated to neg- the rush with an eight hundred thousand dollar field that the niggas with both sides were yeah. looking on. There both was teams one, had to play on it. But wait, but wait. There was one sack from the Chiefs that really wasn't even a sack. He went out of bounds and he just was the last person to touch him. Both teams so, had to play on it, and the Chiefs been, been complaining about. I'm not saying week. that. I'm not play- saying one or the other. I'm telling you that the point that I'm making is that's how you knew. Like both rushes didn't do shit. Yeah. Neither one of them got sacks. Yeah. Well, I mean, they gave up one sack, but that's because he was close to him when he went out of bounds. Okay, so how do you explain the the, the, the Eagles uh, owning the game by t- uh, 12, 12 minutes of time of possession? You know how do you because explain they, how do you explain being up by by ten points a half? Like, no, what I, what I'm talking about is uh, I didn't saying, have them. I, listen, you saying that you can't tell me. Let's see, I can be real about it. You can't tell me when they was up by ten that she was like the Chiefs still gonna win this. No, you was no, like, no, you was like, no, oh, shit, I thought, they might no, win. I thought. If I, I honestly because no, I was no, watching with these stay, guys, stay within I'll that say, moment. I'll, what did you feel in the moment when they was up by ten that they could win? Right, the Eagles. The, when, he, when he went down with the angle, yeah, the angle, just, yeah. So that's my when point. When he came what back, I was is, like, oh well, game back. What on. I'm saying is there was a point in time where the shit was like they're probably going to win, and I was like, there's no. I told, I swear, I wish he was up. I said the only way they win this game, they need some type of crazy ass fucking miracle to happen, and what this nigga do. Runs back the longest punt return in fucking Super Bowl history. Tony. Uh, Kadarius Tony. Tony. New York Tony. Giants. So so that's what I'm saying. Like, you You're needed something to... New York, I'm just saying. New York, you needed giant. something to tilt the scales in order for them to win. He took that down to, what, the five-yard line? Three-yard line? Yeah. Whatever it was. Whatever that was it was. The whatever scale. it was that in the red zone. Right I, I there. think, no, I think, honestly... They could have still the, won that game. I, Had that not happened, they could have still won that game. But here, here's where I think it made a difference, but not that big a difference when you look at the grand scheme of how the, the outcome of the score. When Jalen Hurts, when when he when he fumbled that ball and mishandled it, whatever the fuck you want to call it, he switched, 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 switched hands. hands. He switched hands. Listen, they still you got you, no, you got to think about it. You got to no, 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 think about it. By, they only they still went up by ten points. They still That's fine. But at that moment, at that moment, they could have went up twenty-one-seven. Or seventeen seven, 
Regardless, they, they could have they could have went up, but they still if went they, up by ten. Listen, it's the momentum swing at that very moment. You can Mm-mm. knock a team's dick in the dirt, twenty-one-seven. Yeah, I, I believe so. Going in the Super Bowl, I believe you can. But listen that, to what you whole, just said. You said twenty-one-seven or seventeen-seven, right? Yeah, you're they you ten up points. What? 21, what was it? Which y'all went up by? 24 14? 24 14. Yeah. 20, yeah. That game, yeah, they was up that by game. Yeah. the Chiefs have what? They they, they, they have they, they, they have a good defense, but the you know, I have people at work. Yeah, he was gonna win by 10. Yeah, well damn, 10 points is the fucking halftime lead, I believe. But but I not and still not to cut you off, but as 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 for us who watch football religiously, we've been saying that all season, they're a bad second half team. They're a great second quarter team. Right, they are. They're a bad second half team. I thought third team. quarter, and y'all scored a lot of points. It's not third quarter? It's second quarter. It's second, second quarter, y'all scored like second a crazy, quarter, we, crazy. Second quarter, we understand. Second oh, yeah. quarter, they're unstoppable. Oh, my God. But We're second half, second right. half, going into the, you know, but, but third it, quarter and the fourth quarter. What did y'all record finish? What did y'all finish with? 14? They, went, it, they went 13 and 4? 3. Or 14 and 3. 14. Y'all lost to the so Cowboys. obviously it didn't make that big of a difference. You obviously went up by enough points that even after that shit, but it coast. still was a momentum swing. But not at that point. When? The momentum swing was the kick return. I, yes, it, it, but that was the biggest. That that's the that's you the can't point. say that that's the fumble the was the that momentum was, that swing. Was the biggest. But listen to what you're saying. The momentum swing you're saying is the fumble, but they still went up by ten that's even fine. after that. But no, because no, no, I think to, a team going up. But what was that? That's the second quarter that happened? But you have to listen I to your statement, when, though. when you say that, yeah. the momentum swing, it can't swing imagine back. Imagine them going up by two. But it, go, it can't. Momentum can go back and forth. But what you're saying is the momentum swung to the Chiefs after he fumbled, but they went up by 10 and halftime. Yeah, no. Right. No. Okay. That's that not doesn't true. make that, sense. That, no, that's uh, not yeah, true. Yeah, that was, that was the no. The momentum literally shifted and didn't come back to the Eagles after, after the punt return. return. That's when it, yeah, that's, it didn't come that's back. That's the kill. But the, mem- mo- listen, the momentum swung when they, when All fucking right, so Jalen Hurts. you're talking about just one moment where it swung? Of course. If they scored a touchdown. It was a play we, in a football game. They ain't like But wait, like, Dre, listen to what I'm saying to you. Of I get course what you're they saying. scored a touchdown. Of, that was a, what the but fuck? That, that's not a determining yeah, factor. Yeah, wasn't that a playing the game? Listen to what you're saying. You're saying the uh, momentum swing. No, it was uh, okay. a momentum okay, swing. Okay, well, a momentum swing. All so right. don't, when you say All the, right, well, a the means sw- this without, is the without one. that, they go up 21-7, right? If they score, you're still talking about what could have happened. No, no, no. I think they still had to go down the field. No, no, no. We still had to go down the field. Please, I listen to 975 watts. It's a bunch of ifs. That don't mean shit. I need what Mahomes had. Just give me that. Like, but you're talking on. about an if, though. It's a bunch of ifs and fifths. But that's what you're talking about. You're talking about what could have happened. That's the uncle type shit. Like, but that's, like, what you're ta- that's what you're basing your argument on. Listen, they on lost. Wait, are, you, are you upset that they lost? No, I'm not upset okay, that they lost. Okay, well, I mean, The only thing that I told you that I'm upset about is the <laughs> people who win an argument so he go, yo. Man, they lost, right? But he doesn't. But, but he doesn't I, see I talking was about one, it like, because. Like, like Pootie said. But he don't see I how, was one of those that said, "Listen, I believe I they will win. lose because they have the baddest man on the fucking planet." But who they has the better have, team, though? They, they have the, the better Eagles. team. Eagles. Listen, listen. The Eagles. The Eagles. Who was okay. the better team Eagles. in your eyes? On the paper? Patriots or the Eagles when they won? Because you talk about the baddest man. We yeah. all you say Tom Brady's the goat. No one can chase him. They beat him with Nick Foles. Okay. With a worse team. Okay. The Patriots were the so, better team. To me, what you're saying now, you're flip flopping it by saying the baddest man should have won. But okay. that doesn't and, mean. And, that and every what was time. the momentum swing? That Brandon Graham strip sack, right? No, that, that was, was that was the end kill of the game. switch, that bro. Was the end of the game. Yeah. The that momentum was the swing was the fucking Philly that Philly special kid. shit. No, no, no. But 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 you're that, about that, that kill that switches. You're yeah. not talking about that, swings. That, it ended the whole game, damn it. It ended that's the game. A, that's not a momentum swing. That's a kill that switch. That was like a minute and some seconds left, Joe. Well, that's a kill switch. It, you're not well, talking about a momentum swing. It killed the momentum of the drive. You're not talking about momentum. It killed you're talking the about the momentum of the drive. No. No, no. What do you if you if you listen? No. Are you going listen? A drive momentum. So Jalen Hurts was doing what? Jalen Hurts throwing the ball. The last play of the game was a, was a if momentum I'm swing. There and I can't press it up. I ain't going to it, right? So whether I get two, three, four, five, ten, that wasn't 20, a momentum swing. You already listen, they already you had the momentum. Their momentum of the drive. They already had the momentum. <laughs> Over already, you killed right? the momentum of that drive. But it's over already. That's a it kill switch, not a momentum swing. It wasn't. It but wasn't, I mean, but it is. But We're talking over. Eagles, Chiefs now. Did they win? 
But we only brought it up to give you an example because you're talking about they they're the baddest man on the planet. Nick Foles versus Tom okay. Brady. Nobody was going to say Nobody Nick Foles was going to win Nobody that game. Okay, and that bad man has seven Super Bowls. So what are we talking about? I'm telling you no, what you're talking about. Stop moving the goalposts, though. I mean, I ain't Talk about one thing. All just right, answer, well, the, just baddest answer the question. Man currently today, but answer Patty the Mahomes, questions you're being y'all asked. Had, y'all did not face a quarterback of uh, uh, of his caliber this year. I think I'll that, that this this year's team was better than that team that won. I agree, but I, 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 I agree. You're saying the Eagles, the Eagles. This this defense, this team that just went to the Super Bowl this year is mm-hmm. better than that 2017-2018 team. It is. Right. It is. Agreed. But that they, 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 they had their flaws. 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 They had their flaws like Dak Prescott put up 40. That's why they die. All right, well. Fuck. That's why. Just one question. Do you not see... What I'm talking about <laughs> when I say that you're one of them fans. I'm telling you, I've been talking 15 minutes. He no, wait, 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 some stuff. No, no, he starts talking. Can I, can I say something real so, quick? Can I say something real quick? One... Just real quick. He bought the Cowboys back up. We weren't. We were talking about the Cowboys. I mean, the Eagles, Chiefs. Right. Five minutes. Right back to the Cowboys. You're one of those. That makes. That's no, I'm not. All right. Listen, we so appreciate well, y'all for tapping in. We're going to do this again, as always, man. We like to have fun. It, it, this sport should just go on and on and on and on. Hey, man. We love it. We ain't get a win chance to do a shot. Well, we ain't do the motherfucker. Win another one. We ain't get a chance to do the win motherfucker hot card. We appreciate y'all for tapping in. I I'm privileged drinking six touches for the hood. <laughs> we still got fucking four to one. <laughs> I'm privileged drinking, baby. Line. They ain't got no plans, you can tell them to slide. I'm feast of beast, they told you otherwise I'm stuck